Good morning. Happy Saturday to all of you. <clears throat> Excuse my raspy voice. So I want to give you guys a second here to log in and um, chat with you about the Oh, hello, beautiful. How? So good to see when I have beautiful friends on here. Hello, hello. Um, good morning, good morning. So I want to talk about something before I get too much in my and I digress too much. I'm going to try not to. So here we go. So the topic I want to talk about, again, we always talk about truth talk and, and, and my goal is to be the brutal honest truth. I'm sitting here, I'm sunning, I'm doing all the things I ask you guys to do. Again, here's the beautiful sun. And as you can see, I am here uh, earthing my feet. So let's see if I can get you to my feet. Right there, there they are. Um, in my grass. But the topic I want to talk about today on truth, before you all get your panties in a wad and guys getting your all balls all cinched up and you're all uptight about these freaking topics, I love earthing too. Get your feet out. Let's chat. Um, so before you guys get yourselves all like uptight, and I know people who follow me are in the right mindset and the, the consciousness mindset, but I'm going to touch on this topic because it's a big deal. Um, because I'm watching people struggling to leave the, the third dimension, we call it physicality, okay, things, thoughts, and truth as I teach. And they're having a hard time addressing everything right now from the picture they see, the label they use. Everything is physicality, the things, right? And that's where we used to be, so it's not wrong. It's just hard that people are having a hard time shifting from things to truth. And truth is spirit. It's just a simple version of spirit, okay? And so people are getting their panties in a wad. And again, as I would say, your ball's in a cinch. It's like it's all uptight about these topics that you're missing the big picture, okay? All things right now, the only way you are in power is when you interpret everything from energy. And when you interpret things from energy, it's got to be what it feels like. And here's a tip for all of you today. You know what truth feels like. And you know what non-truth feels like. It's that simple. Okay? So things, thoughts, and truth are no different than body, mind, spirit. Spirit. You know what spirit, truth feels like. But here's the, the fascinating piece is we keep addressing life from the things reality, from the physicality, and we're getting tripped up. And my answer is, is that you cannot ignore your physical. So we're here, we're earth beings. We came here to earth. I know we're a spiritual soul having a physical experience, but you're still physically here, okay? So you cannot live this life without addressing all three T's the things, but we just only focus on the things, the things and the labels, the things and the labels. And it's like, okay, well, you guys are going to get your tripped up. Okay. So you can't just be happy and address your thoughts and go, I'm so confident it's going to fix your body. Right. And, and if you're not just going to sit here and go into spirituality and talk to your angels and your spirit guides and your guardian angels and whoever the hell you're talking to. Right. And if you can't just, you cannot be one focused and think that the others aren't going to be neglected. And so my simpler point is, is that you aren't here to do anything less than see all three from an energetic perspective, feeling, what does the energy feel like in my body? What does the energy feel like with the thoughts I have? And what does the energy feel like in my truth? Because if you sat knee to knee, my friends with God, your God, whoever your God is, your energetic universal truth and God said, you live in your purpose, you live in high consciousness, are you being Christ-like energy, which is just being light on all frequencies of your life, all 12 strands of your life? Could you say yes? Most people can't because they're out applying themselves to the, the physical thing, the things. And I bring this up because all three must be addressed, which is what we're doing in the Truth Warrior series. Right now we're in the online event the online is closed, but you can all start signing up for Scottsdale, the live full day retreat, um, which is where we address all aspects of you. 
Now, the reason I bring that up is because I find this interesting. I made a comment on another spiritual leader's um, post, shall we say, and everyone got their panties in a wad. Everyone's getting all tripped up over the comment, and the comment was an energy comment. It had nothing to do with the person being interviewed or the people on the call or the people on the, on the video. I don't give a shit. Honestly, I literally could give a shit a lot, literal about who people are. I want to follow people who raise my frequency or make me think about raising my frequency or ask me to raise my consciousness about things that may have been controversial in the past and go, hmm, gosh, I never thought about that before. And so when you're in an energy and you're following people, I'm not telling you to judge them. I didn't judge this person. I wasn't even angry at them. My comment to this post was, this isn't what I expected from you because you used to teach me how to see all angles, all strands, all frequencies of certain topics. And this was very direct, very linear, and very polarized. Unintentionally or intentionally, it didn't matter. I wasn't mad at the spiritual person. I actually send them love. I, I want everyone to be happy. But my comment was on an energetic perspective, and my point is it got responded to on a physical, and I love that. It's juicy, and it's truth, and it's honest, and I thought, okay, this is how people are reacting. Because we're not addressing spirit, mind, then body. We're addressing body, mind, and spirit, which let's address body. Body can be anything you touch. Body is money, body is your heart, body is your head, body is your hair, body is your chair, body is the grass that we're sitting on right here. Body is anything you can touch in the 3D. Mind are any thoughts that you have and you have the power to shift that thought in and out anywhere you want it to be. And spirit is truth. There is a truth, consciousness truth on everything we do. And we choose to live in a high consciousness state or a low consciousness state. Even the low consciousness state is truth. And, and this is a big deal for people that I keep trying to explain to people is there is a big awakening happening in a lot of people. Like I started this call, y'all getting your panties in a wad. And I'm telling you to stop getting your panties in a wad and step into the fucking truth. And the reason I say that is because the truth is not something you like on the physical realm. Because when you start stepping into truth, you start realizing it has nothing to do with the label or the thing or the environment you're addressing. Ta-da! Um, it, it, so, so, so my point I'm trying to get you guys to, I'm not going to stay on too long. Um, and you guys can make some comments about this too. If, or if any of you want to um, join me on this call. Um... I see, um, oh, hi, Jill, do you want me, if you want, comment yes, and I will bring you on the call with me. Um, we can have a discussion about this, because I would love to. But my point being that I want to leave you guys with is, is that if you're getting all uptight, anxiety, and stressed out about a video, a picture, or a person, or a comment, or an energy about another person, you're not standing in neutrality of truth. You're not standing in truth. You're standing in a programmed reality you've been taught to look at. And I'm not telling people to criticize or judge. Some people don't like me. I'm okay with that. That means I'm not the energy space for you to be in. I, have, I need you all to understand that. If you don't want to be in my energy space of truth, that's okay. Unfollow, unfriend, un, do not participate in the truth tribe. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, allow someone to join us. chat with us um oh i love you so much too thank you for joining I, I, i'm asking you guys this topic because there's an energy that's coming up right now and it says that the whole year this is 2024 okay why because 2024 is an eight year okay if you guys don't know how to add that up you'll add the two the zero the two and the four they all add up to eight and if if you add that eight year up, eight year um, represents value and worth. So my question is, is what are you worth? And that's the truth. That's the truth you're living in. If you, you're looking at something and going, this truth doesn't feel good to me, you don't need to explain yourself. The truth of 
of that video that I commented on, it didn't feel good to me. It doesn't have anything to do with anyone in the video other than what I used to feel from that person. I don't feel that anymore. That's energy. And that's a big deal. So, okay, so she's not going to join. That's okay. She was, she was just uh, tapping on the wrong button. So, so does that make sense to all of you? I love you all so much that I want you all to step into what you're feeling right now is going to feel uncomfortable in your body if you're not living in truth. Your body may say, I don't want to eat that sugar anymore. I don't want to drink that alcohol anymore. I don't want to think about the things that are bringing me um, inflammation. So anything that's going to cause inflammation in your body, your body's going to react and you're going to have to go, am I bringing it to the highest energy I can feel? And if it tells you no, then feel the energy in your body and go a different way. Find the neutrality. If your thought says no, this is inflamed thoughts. Go another way. If you are, um, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> if you are sitting in a um, spiritual setting and it's making you uncomfortable or the way you used to think or your thoughts, or your beliefs, and they don't serve you anymore, find another way to connect with source. Find another way. My way is not always the way. I'm just giving you tools to get there. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Things, thoughts, and truth. If it doesn't start with truth and it doesn't feel truth, I'm telling you, it will not feel right in your thoughts and it will not feel right in your body. Period. All three have to count. All three things have to count. All three things, thoughts, and truth. Three T's. So anyway, I love you all. I wanted you guys to have a happy weekend and I want you to remind yourself every time you get on social media, it's going to be someone who's bringing up their opinion. This isn't about my opinion. This is about me sharing my experiences with you so you guys can understand that if you're going to step into a truth, I want you to own it. I owned the truth with the person and said, look, I have no judgment here. I just don't feel truth with this. And I want you to understand is I have no judgment people who don't want to come along with me on this truth revolution. I'm okay with that. I am. I'm okay with that. But you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with living in a higher consciousness of truth, which is going to be uncomfortable this year because what you used to think was valuable, what you used to think was invaluable in you has to be raised and you have to start considering how beautiful you are, how amazing you are, how smart you are, how gifted you are, how talented you are. All these 12 fractals or strands of your personality have to come together as oneness. And typically we only focus on a couple of them because that's where we're good and easy and gentle. And my answer is, is that we don't have to be just one or two talented aspects of ourselves. Be the entirety of who you are. So again, if you haven't checked out the Truth Warrior series, it's in the link in bio. My whole link tree is there. You can go get my newest book, uh, Mastering Badassery. You can go find all my books, actually. Um, you can go see the new Truth Warrior series, the, the live full event. We've got Denver and Scottsdale. And, and my point is, is I'm on a mission to make you all see your truth and to see all, all 12 aspects of your personality and that you have complete oneness within yourself. Why? Because you deserve it. You deserve to live an amazing life instead of this total bullshit you've been programmed and taught from you, your, your birth till now. And my answer is 2024 is a new year. You will not accept anything that doesn't raise your value. So there's my tip of the day. Get your panties out of a wad, get your balls out of the cinch, start stepping into your freaking power. And if you want more, go sign up for the Truth Tribe if you're not already. It's free. It's in the link in bio as well. And um, we'll kind of dive into this more on Monday because I found this whole, this whole energy that we're all going through is so fascinating because it's triggering us. It's triggering us to see our shit. And when you see it, you actually go, oh, I'm not that anymore because Don told me I'm freaking amazing and I'm beautiful and I deserve to have the best life ever. So go get it. Live your truth. I love you all. Brightest blessings. You guys have an amazing weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Take care.